Hello, how are we doing? This, this, I want to say this life, this video is unplanned, unfiltered. I just saw the young man like, I need to talk about this because a lot of you have been asking, when, when, when are they approving this law? It has been approved today. Do you know the law I'm talking about? Let me show you. A couple of weeks ago, I made a video about um, Finland removing the red tape. That is for international students to come to Finland. They don't need um, just one year permit and then after that, they renew the permit and stuff like that. They don't need to go through all the stress, right? So according to this new law, if you're coming for a bachelor's program of 3.5 years or 3 years or 4 years, you will show... As your bank statement, you should have six thousand seven hundred and twenty euros, but you'll be given a residence permit for the whole duration of your study. Somebody say hallelujah! Hey, just ignore me today, but because I'm happy, I'm happy for you, my people. So it means once you get your residence permit approved and your program is four years. You'll be living in Finland for four years straight without thinking of, oh, next year I have to extend my permit. Hmm. You don't know what that is because you have not, you have not been here. Eh? I've been there. I know the struggle. So, even, and it applies to your family members. Can you imagine? So, if you are coming with your wife, your husband, your kids, as they are giving you four years for your whole program, they are giving them four years. Hmm. The stress this will save you. It's only when you are here that you you you'll be grateful for this news. When is this news? When when is this law <laughs> coming into effect? Tomorrow, Friday. So which means for those of you coming here in August, if your program is two years, you're having your two years straight and you don't need to show additional proof of funds it's still the six thousand seven hundred and twenty euros can you imagine so you will not need to you will not even need to say oh i need to double my proof of funds it's the same amount the same amount so imagine you coming with your family you don't need to stress oh next year i need to renew the payment for all of it. just imagine the the money you need in your bank account to show for bank statement if you're supposed to Renew your permit for just one year. You have not settled in Finland well. You don't even know. Maybe some people don't self. You don't have a good job at that time. So, but you, this is stress free. So, this news is so good. So, <laughs> oh my god, news taste. <laughs> we have something come on, or something too sweet. Say, taste. You see this news? It taste. So, that's why I'm bringing it to you fresh. Because a lot of you have been asking, some of you were even disappointed. You said, you said, when is it coming? To, it's it's coming to effect tomorrow. So you don't need to bother about. All you need to bother is getting your residence permit. Once you have it, you come here, you go on with your study right after graduation. That's when you start thinking about applying for permanent, my people. <laughs> This is so good. It's so good to be true. It's too good to be true, but it's true. All right. Okay, so let me run you through early news where I found it. Let me run you to start. You see for yourself. Eh? I'm so excited. So maybe what I'm saying is not coming out well. <laughs> so let me run you through um, this um, early news website so that we'll see what's going on. All right. But as long as this is good news and it's a positive one to my people, I am happy. All right. Yes, so this is it. You can see from my screen. New York aims to cut red tape for finance international students. So this is a highlight. The amendments will mean students and their family members can receive resident permits for the duration of their studies. 
Finland's government has passed a new law which will mean foreign students and their family members can receive residence permits for the entire duration of their studies. So this is the red tape that we're talking about. So previously, what was happening? Students have been acquired, required to re regularly cut through red tape at the immigration service in order to renew study-based visas every year or two. So we don't need to go through that. When is the law? Okay, the law which goes into effect on Friday also aims to make it easier for promisers to seek work in Finland after they complete their studies. So I want to look at where they talk about um, that proof of funds. The national student will be required, still required to show proof that they can afford living costs while they are staying, studying, but not only, but only for one year. So we see this is not, why not? But only for one year. That's the sweetest thing, according to the ministry, which added that students will continue to be responsible for cost of living expenses throughout their studies. Students from outside the EU will continue to be obliged to pay to short fees. We don't care, we know that one. The new law also extends limits on the number of hours. Hey! Number of hours, so it has been moved from 20 to 30 hours. That's a lot, guys. That's amazing. The law will change the status of foreign student visas from current D to A continues. You're coming here, you have you have, you have access to the health care system. Oh my god, this news is so good for international, and I'm happy. I am so so happy. Mm. Mm. Hmm. Effectively shortening the duration of residence needed to apply for Finnish citizenship compared to the previous arrangement. Meanwhile, the law will the law change will make it easier for budget to seek work, so, job in Finland. <laughs> I can't even speak well. I'm so excited. You go, I beg, excuse me. Even if they temporarily leave the country after their studies. So hmm. ah see eh? new taste. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited for you guys. Like, I'm so happy. It's like I should come back to Finland now as an international student. <laughs> ah, I'll leave this link if you want to go through it like slowly because yeah, I was just washing and washing, washing, washing. Okay. So I hope you're excited as I am, <laughs> as much as I am at the moment. Ah, and see you in Finland in August, all right? I just let me squeeze out time to bring this good news. There's so much going on in this world. So much that I take opportunity to bring good news. There's so much bad news going on in the world. So this is good news, all right? Ta -da. <laughs> okay, so see you hopefully on Sunday. Take care and happy Easter.